dapat dito siya mm-hmm. maintindihan na bawat driver na yung lisensyang pinagkaloob sa inyo ay hindi karapatan kundi isang privilege. Paano pag nasa gitna siya ng daan and it's traffic, how will she manage? ba? Diba? Bababa siya, iwan niya yung car para mag-CR. Good morning, Mahal. Good morning, Mahal. <laughs> oh, best. Kumusta na yung kahapon? Yung yung kinanood natin viral video pa, yung pregnant sa naiya. Oo, na. Na hinumarang siya doon sa harap ng uh, car kasi naiihi na siya. And um pagbalik niya Uh, parang minura-mura siya ng senior citizen couple and there was this kid also mm. na nag-dirty finger. Kumusta na pala yun? Ano nangyari dun? Nakita eh, ko hindi at panag uh, ano, magandang arrangement or isang tingnan sa nag-iya na nag uh, office and they decided mo na mag isang panag Ako din si Slayson Hidden about yung sa, uh, as you mentioned, uh, yung sa Anaya, uh, road rage siya, tantang mo na doon, yeah, yung tungkol sa bundis, parking lot. Hmm, so, road rage. Yung sa bagay, may similarity. May similarity sa road rage, no? Actually, ako hindi na yun ako. Hindi lang naman kasi ito yung first time na na-invoke na mag-invoke sa pagkong natin. Medyo bata pa ako nun eh. Baka wala pa ako. Hindi ko na matanda ko niya. Pero based lang sa pagka-research ko, merong isang babae happen mm. sa parking lot na ito lang sa cemetery na we're dealing sa parking lot, same incident with parking lot. Problema. and it's resulted to food which leading to the death of the bullies. Wow, grab it. Oh. Because, um, nakakalungkot, no, na dahil lang sa party, mm-hmm. yung mga pang may buhay na mawala. Mm-hmm. Because of anger, because of stress, anger, and the management, no? Mm-hmm. Oo nga eh. Yung kagaya din sa akin, di ba? Na parang kinati yung parking. Eh, yung iba nun, nag- resulted to heated argument Pero, talaga man, eh. Oo. Oh, kasi, there's no point eh. Pero yung iba, yun nga eh, it will result to, uh, ano, ganun na mga situations ba. But, yeah. no, yung side naman kasi, yung sa, sa babae, eh, um, for me lang, kasi, Nag-iwan naman kasi siya ng number and, and okay lang naman yun na ganun kasi nga naihi. And question ba doon is, um, yun nga, nag-usapan natin kung PWD parking ba yun? Pati kasi yung mm. maintindihan na bawat driver or bawat ng the drive no, na yung lisensyang pinagkaloob sa inyo ay hindi karapatan, hindi isang privilege. Privilege na anytime na pwede tanggalin si Mikian. once na nagkaroon kayo ng violation. Kasi, that's why I mentioned that is, may mga ilang kasi na kaya sila ganun sa daan, parang piling nila karapatan nila yung pagkakaroon ng lisensya at karapatan nila yung pagdidrive ng no, each of the village. Mm. Oo. Oh, oh. mm, yun lang ano eh. Tapos PWD. Ano ka yung PWD? Hindi naman na-mention. But, um, we can see kasi daan. PWD kasi. Meron sila mga privileges eh, mm. na dapat i-address na tao na bawat mga bumayang Pilipino mm. na binibigyan sila ng privilege. Halimbawa, yeah, sa incident na yun, sa parking na diba? Dapat kasi ang isang PWD, meron sila sariling parking space mm. where wala sila po pwede ulang, pwede distract. di ba just in case na walang obstruction walang haharang in short oh. Oh. Uh-huh. very very easily accessible sa kalinga mm. 
Yun lang ang question. Nasa PWD parking ba siya? Eh for sure meron yan kasi government ano yun eh. Pero yun lang if yung pinarkingan ba niya, PWD parking ba yun? And if ever PWD parking and nagharang yung buntis, may due consideration pa naman din yung buntis kasi naglagay naman siya ng number. Tsaka siguro naiihi na din. Due consideration, ano yun eh? Uh, yung ginawa kasi ng buntis, Oh, eh, siya na magiging distraction mm. o, o, kaya siya nag-iwan ng na, number pag nag-park mo mm. diba, pero kung makikita mo naman hindi sa parking lahat alis naman naka-double parking mm. ahead of her meron din naka-parking mm. lang, uh, the difference lang is walang tao sa sasakyan niya okay, diba? mm. yeah. kung walang tao kasi may ganong version <laughs> Wala, wala. Iniwan niya yung car. Hmm, Iwan siya ng note. Kasama niya yung anak Tapos niya. kasama niya yung anak niya sa CR. Kasi pagbalik namin, sabi niya, pagbalik namin, sama yung anak okay. niya. So, both of them went to the CR. Di niya iniwan yung anak niya sa car. Noon na sila, pa-approach pa lang sila ng car, nagmumura na yung um, lalaki. Yung husband. Tapos, I kasi, you know, ito nga, assessment ko na, since nag-iwan siya ng number, possibility, possibility lang ha. Kasi kung makikita mo din yung video, may hawak ng cellphone yung babae. So, meaning, sa akin sa assessment ko, mm. possible kaya na tinawagan nung, nung uh, nagkararan yung babae sa CR. Yeah, tinawagan so, siya. Possibly. Kaya siya nagmamadali. Possibly. Bumalik kasi tinawagan siya. Tinawag pa lang nila. Nung pagtawag pa lang nila, nagkaroon na ng uh, sinisigawan na, na siya. Kaya siguro nagready na siya na magvideo kasi alam niya mm. iba iba yung iba yung dating nito ibang boses nito sa ko so for her security kaya bibigyan niya that the intention was sasabi natin na the intention ng babae pwede natin sabihin na hindi click kaya niya kaya niya binigyo yung yung For her protection, in case of, ano, hmm, hmm, kaya niya ginawa. Well, on, on the side naman, may nagko-comment sa mga netizens na yung buntis kasi siya and it's her second time. You should have known better daw na pag buntis, naiihi talaga. And considering it's the airport traffic and masyadong ano alam alam mo yung hindi ka ma expected na hindi ka makakapark agad so dapat in anticipate na niya kung ano yung gagawin niya without ganun yung approach Pero kasi may nagsabi pa doon na paano pag nasa gitna siya ng daan and it's traffic how will she manage ba diba? bababa siya iwan niya yung car para mag CR so yun ang oh, ano and then just citing an example pa na um, she should have prepared and she should have planned it better kung anong dapat niya gawin um, is it since ano um, yun na bang alternative plan na naisip niya na if naihihi siya iiwan lang siya ng number mag-block siya tapos mag-iiwan siya ng number parang ganon uh, ang ano kasi bakit ba siya nasa airport? Mm, ang sana ba sa both of them are ano are waiting. Ano ba? Sa 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 daan sa. Ito na mo. Sa akin lang to. Sa hindi na to ano. Let's see. Hindi lang pero yung particular time na dumubas siya. Nung nga sa ganun na situation niya, hindi ba? Baka kasi, yun lang yung time na dumaba siya dahil kailangan niya pumunta ng naiya. Kailangan niya pumunta ng airport. Diba? May sinundo siya. Si both of them are, you know, siya. may sinundo. May sinundo siya. Hindi na natin alam kung sino, sino yung sinundo niya, diba? Bakit siya nang doon, diba? Kasi sinundo yung hindi. Ngayon, balik tayo sa situation na, oh, yun nga. Hindi mo naman siya ng, ano, ng, ng, ito, ng bonya sa, sa sakin niya. So, I mean, yung act niya is good people, di ba? Ang, mm. ang, ang nasa isip niya na yun, 
na kung naka-double quarantine siya, alam niya obstruction. Oh, so, pero paano ba yan sa law? Paano yan sa batas? Is it considered? Is it considered? Basta sa batas. That you're... Ang bata, hindi na makabuntis. No, what I mean, I regard... In considering the ano ba, yung... Um, paano ba yan sa batas kasi nag-park ka? Nag-obs- nag-ano ka kasi? Double parking? Tawag ba dyan? Ang mag-fall kasi yan sa intention ng pagkaka-park mo. Bakit ka nag-park? Ano ang hmm. intention mo nag-park ka doon? Ang intention mo ba ay para i-block lang o para lang mag-park lang doon? Kasi sa sa sa, sa case nung, nung buntis, ang intention ni, niya is nasa emergency siya yun. Hmm. May ibig siya yun. So, kung makapansin mo, umikot-ikot payata siya bago siya kaya pwede na din nakakita ng kung pwede niya pagparkan eh na siya eh kaya ang, ang ginawa niya mabibig yung condition nag-iwan siya ng number mm. diba? yeah. kasi kung sa batas mm. magdadaanin yan it will only support mm. sa intention diba? mm. kung bakit niya ginawa yun diba? bakit na yan hindi lang kasi binanggit how long she is ba sa CR siguro mainit I don't know mainit masyado naghihintay mga senior kaya ganun sila um, they were very disappointed na may nag- nakaharang sa harap but yung reaction kasi nila is hindi talaga din tama nagpaliwanag naman kasi yung buntis eh. so I think yung trigger nila dyan is sinarangan sila and um, siguro they already judge her beforehand na an asshole is parking in front of us tapos may pa ano pa pa parang siguro um, pa discard yung discard yung iwan iwan na number and hassle masyado so yun nata iniisip nila eh. so when she arrived as ano presenting herself as pregnant wala wala clouded na sila eh. hindi na nila naririnig yun ba na oh, pregnant bakit ba akong pregnant kasi nga they already judged her na someone na, na um, nagaharang sa harap nila and yun they're, they're very emotional they weren't able to control their anger sa akin naman since <laughs> nag-usap na sila maring nag-usap sila sa po siguro hindi okay. nag-usapit nung uh, matanda or hindi mag-asawa nabuntis yung kausap nila oh nakita lang nila kasi kung magsan yung reach nandun na eh oh. sinisigawan na nila yata sa, eh sa mm. na namin, yun nga na judge na nila ba sa sakin, di ba? Mm. and when they found out siguro yung paglabas sa buntis hindi na rin nila nakontrol yung emotion nila masyado na mataas yun nga yun na sinasabi ko so, wala na yung wala na yung tamang pag-iisip sa katika hmm. siguro gano'n yeah I think yeah yun, yun nga Let's say considering kung, kasi may sinabi kasi may medical um, issues, you know, may medical problems yung seniors, and tapos na nagharang pa, so they're in hurry, or I don't know. Hindi naman kasi sinabing medical emergency, yeah. So, somebody in the car, is a medical emergency? Or, kasi silang dalawa yung nakikita natin, eh. Dal- yung dalawang senior at saka yung isang bata na nag-dirty finger. <clears throat> di ba? So, we don't know then if yung bata is um, um, may ano, um, special yung bata or sadyang ano lang din yung bata may anger management issues din. No? So, oo, we don't know. Wala, eh. wala naman. Yun lang, yun lang naman kasi at the short, short video na pinakita eh. So, we don't really know kung who among them also is the PWD hindi naman din kasi pinakita ang alam lang natin nag nabanggit or nasabi na may PWD PWD so yun um very ano kasi yung video but one thing talaga na nakita natin for sure is there are anger management issues there na nakikita natin bakit nag-result into that one kasi um tayo ilang beses na tayo naharangan sa parking, di ba? And, oh, malis. Actually, ako, I've tried that eh. Na, I've, I've experienced that. I've, I experienced that one eh, na um, wala yung driver na ihi siya. Tapos, it so happened that na may parking space. So, ganyan, my parking space is near the entrance of the mall. 
<clears throat> so, doon siya. Doon siya sa, ano, nag-park siya sa harap, tapos na siya. Hindi nga siya nag ng number, nag-iwan eh. But, ang first ginawa ko, um, hinanap ko siya. I looked around, hindi ko siya nakita. Then, I asked the guard, um, can you, like, can we do something about, kasi may nakarang sa harap ko, I have to go na. So, he can, ano naman, in my place, pwede naman siya dumapark. So, pakainap na lang yung driver. Pero, yun, nung dumating siya, nag-apologize. Sorry po kasi, hinatarga ako. And, um, makaharang kasi ako sa pag doon ako mag-park. Sabi ko, oh, sige, okay lang, okay lang. Nintindihan naman natin, call of nature, eh. Tsaka, hindi naman sinasadya. Mm. Yun ding isa, eh, no? Bakit wala, no? <laughs> yun ang isang hinanap, eh. Para kasi matagal yung kasi, ano nila, 'di ba? Confrontation. Tsaka maraming tao doon. So, bakit walang guard na nagrobing ba? Kung naging kalmado lang kasi din yung yung naparahan. The first action na gagawin mo is look for the guard. Yeah. Diba? Kasi obstruction to, eh. so ano, 'di ba? Mm. Pwede lang naman nilang kung wala ako, let's say, hindi na iwan ang number. Mm. Pwede naman nilang ipi yan, 'di ba? Na itong mm. ganitong Mm, yeah. Uh, exactly. Pini mm. oh. page yan eh. Oh, naririnig naman natin yan sa emergency oh. cases na True. like that. Mm. Yung kasi dapat the first step dapat. Hindi authority na nandoon. Considering na you have to maintain the peace in order. Doon sa party na kind of, alam mo naman, di ba, yung aring situation mong yari. Considering din na marami na rin nangyaring mga party na mm. incident. So, whether it's sa mall, sa naiya, or sa kar, na establishment, dapat, kung may mag-world na nakasign doon, mm. ano sila doon? Pag-world sila sa doon. I'm mm. not blaming the guard doon sa naiya, pero I was just asking Sila, oh, time. and then um, it's particular unang, 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 unang. if my parking guard mm-hmm. that is if my wrong roving parking guard now if mm-hmm. if nasa entrance lang sila what are their responsibilities ba kung merong roving guard na ka-assign kasi siya yung unang magko-call ng attention eh um bawal yeah. po double park kasi even in malls eh na ano ka ng guard eh pag naka double car they check if merong driver pag yun so nakita pa yung walang driver kasi yung iba lumabas yung mga driver ba? naka park double park sila pero yung mga driver nasa lapas so oh, so siya kaya medyo nagkakaroon na konting dinyensi pag gagawin sa double park because ang kanila is pwede kang mag-double park even consideration na mag-unprovided merong driver sa loob na rin yeah. so whatever happens mm-hmm. mag-move ka kasi mm-hmm. yung binabaraha mong ano is mag-hazard ka pero actually if my guard nun tapos pababa pa lang siya tapos sabi niya na iipo ako guard mag-iwan lang ako I don't think papayagan din siya ng guard I think she will be as um siguro i ano sa pli, ibang air parking space by that is actually a PWD parking. There are I, two things that I see. One thing parang um yung feeling nila na nalamangan sila na isahan sila because mm-hmm. they think na uh, mali talaga yung ginawa and you shouldn't you shouldn't obstruct my path parang ganun. Or mm-hmm. ang naisip na nila na Uh, strategy lang to palagi lagi ka pa ng number eh hindi ka makapark iwan mo yung ano mo parang ganun ba so parang iniis din na judge nila na an asshole using that strategy para makapark at iwan dito parang ganun yung ano na. so it may be the trigger ng rage nila eh. so th- those two it's important to keep calm maybe <laughs> Yung mm. Congress talagang kailangan, ano yun eh, kailangan mamintay natin sa katawan natin yun. Mm-hmm. Kasi kapag uh, nauna agad yung galit, hindi naman mag-resulta yun sa, ano, sa tamang pag-decision. Yun pa. yeah. Kasi nga yun yung, yung uh, pangyayari. So, magigalit ka ba agad? Yes, I know. Maybe may emergency. Ah, uh, eh. 
mahirap, mahirap minsan yung ikanto yung emotion pero pagkaka yung sitwasyon magkaroon tayo ng clear mind sa lagi, di ba? Kasi kahit yung magsisiyan, paano ma-resolve ma- ako? Magkagalit ka, mag-create ka ng senaryo na lalong ma- 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 magkakaroon ng problem or mapipuyo sana. Nagalit siya kasi ka, hindi niya na-control yung emotion niya. So, kung hindi siya nagalit, hindi mangyayari yung ganun. Hindi siya makasakit ng tao. Walang kasuhan na mangyayari. Di ba? Walang, they could just live at peace without any residual consequences. Di ba? Minsan nga eh. Hindi ko yung kasuhan. Sa akin lang naman na I don't think na mag-purpose pa din. Ano ba yung kinaso ng babae? I think yung sa 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 data ng PWD is cyber libel kaya ang ang a cyber libel a cyber crime yung, yung sa ano uh, for posting uh, the video uh, for posting pero to think na bago bago tinusot o pa, bago nagkaroon ng ano ng ng video yung ginawa nila is an alarming scandal na yun hmm. di ba kung ano saan eh nagtigpas sila ng ano yun ng ng It's saying eh, they already de- disturbed the peace no 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 big snail. Pero yung pagkuha niya ng video, pagkuha ng video ng babae, um is it a violation? It's for her protection. Ah, for Kasi her protection. Kasi ayaw niya eh. Mm. Diba? Parang nila kausap na niya and nung, nung kausap niya po pwede yung pintono is hindi na maganda. Mm. So, para sa kanya, punti siya. Kailangan niya pagtagtahan niya sa kanya. Mm. Nung na maaaring baka bumungaan niya na sa, mm. sa pool. And we don't know kung ano talaga. And then, paglabas nga niya, nakita niya na agad yung reach. Diba? So, ato ko po. So, it is considered as a... Uh, it's an act of um, parang to protect herself hindi naman with the intention of ano um, malis so, hindi naman so, sa sabihin mo na intention na siraan yung PWD hindi pa lang sa paggawang pag-iskandalo ng PWD hmm. sinuraan na nila yung sarili nila hmm. kasi maraming taong nakakita yeah. sa kanila maraming True. taong naka-identify sa kanila so ano yung sabihin nila na pinaprotect namin yung, yung sarili namin na naiskandalo kami eh, ano ba yun sa pataging lahat? Skandalo na nga eh. Totoo. Di ba? Di ba nga? Ito sa kanya, learning skandal. So, ito pang skandal na ina-ano na protektahan niyo yung mga sa inyo upat. Yung babae, ano yun? Violence against women and children, ganun. Pwede yun. Kasi, invasion. May bata eh, no? May bata oh, din na na Isa pang Isa pang witness. delikado dito Politics yun eh So mm. Nag-result yan sa stress At nagkaroon ng hindi magandang Resulta mm. Nagkaroon sa nangyaring Voltage Na hospital By four weeks Na nagkaroon na miscarriage mm. Hindi Libre sila And Sometimes Pairal naman natin More yung empathy natin Trying to understand The perspective of the other person Lalo na in that in that scenario, if only he tries to empathize, kasi lahat naman tayo um, gusto natin na makapark. Kung naihi tayo, gusto natin na we are in the right parking spot and umihi. Or makapark tayo while waiting for that somebody na dumating. Kasi pag di pa dumarating yung plano, di ba? Or na-delay. So, Who wouldn't want to park properly? And if in the case na hindi tayo makapark, eh, gustuhin talaga natin na makapark as soon as possible, di ba? That's why may mga double parking and that's why it is allowed. Di ba? Hmm. Naman, may leeway naman ang mga parking spaces na ganyan na pwede naman kayo magpark as long as my driver. No. That was a different scenario kasi naiihi na yung driver. And um, kung sana they choose to be more empathetic doon sa ano to be to understand and consider yung situation na iihi regardless kahit hindi buntis eh 
Kahit lalaki pa yung driver, ikaw na, it's call of nature. Paano mo? <laughs> Pipigilan ang call of nature, ba? Diba? What if delayed yung flight, yung expected, ano, kasi yun, di sinasabi naman netizens ba na yung the pregnant woman should be more considerate and should have planned it beforehand, ba? Diba? Yun ang sinasabi naman netizens, na ibang netizens. So, um, it's call of nature. Eh. What if, what if, yeah, she planned it na, um, uh, pag maihi siya, ganyan, and, uh, makapark na siya by that time or nakaalis na sila, na-anticipate na niya yung time frame na ihi siya. Pero suddenly, na-delay. Na-delay yung flight, di ba? Di natin alam. So, mas natagalan pa siya na naghintay. So, pag naihi na, eh, what will she do? Di ba? Hindi naman pwede na, hindi man pwede sa lalaki yan eh, ihi lang ng bottle of water. Kasi ang mabait ng sarili ko na makikita din na Oo. Ano ba? try to control na maghanap ng gas station. Or mm. papasok ko sa isang fast food chain. Yeah. Hindi ako mayiging sense. And then if they, ano naman, di ba? Yung, yung, yung sa cast food ko, yung lalaki yan, madaling gawa ng parang yung pag-ihi. Oo, oh, true. Hindi sa lalaki yan eh. Uh. Kasi yung babae yan eh. Are you expecting na yung babae eh? Sa isang uh, they are available now na parang cup siya na eh. Parang ikakup sa um, uh, puwerta ng babae. Then, parang meron siya, <laughs> kumbaga, it's so funny, no? But it's somehow like an imbudo, ba? It's a funnel. Somehow, it looks like a funnel. Na parang isa siyang silicone, it, 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 parang, it, uh, ano tawag, it fits to the, um, the area, the sensitive area ng babae. Tapos, pag maihi siya, parang it funnels out. Tapos, parang, pwede, pwede mailagay sa bottle or, you know. Parang gano'n, imagine mo ba? So, para din siyang lalaki na naihi. But, it's still difficult because we have to remove the underwear. And, you know, paano? I mean, I, I can't imagine how it is being maneuvered in the car. Parang it's so, eh, mahirap, buntis pa siya, tapos may anak pa siya. ba? Diba? And, uh, hindi gano'n. Even if hindi siya buntis, what if may incontinent problem siya? No, ba? Diba? Yung incontinence meaning, hindi mo mapigilan yung pag-ihi mo. Naihi, parang lumalabas lang siya na kung naihi ka, you cannot hold it for too long kasi lalabas talaga siya. Merong mga may ganong problema, you no? Know? Tapos, even if wala in the absence of all those diseases, in the absence of simple ihi, you should be considerate about it because it's call of nature. So, sana yun ang una inisip, baka naihi yung driver or baka na tatay. Yeah, ayun. Hindi mo buntis at may i- may issue na ano. It's so... Okay. Yeah, it, Kung may kasama ka, yun yung oh, kasama sa yun. Oo. Oh, driver, di ba? Oo. Oh, kasama yung driver. Oo. Oh, Let's say, same scenario. Same scenario. Babae, may anak, hindi siya buntis, pero naiihi siya. Pag ganun, it's, for me, uh, well, you still have to consider it kasi naiihi naman talaga siya. At saka, bumalik. Bumalik naman siya eh. Nung tinawagan siya, bumalik naman siya agad. At saka kung may isip mo rin, kung pwede rin, kaya siya nag-iwan ng number doon. Dahil yung CR na pinuntahan, malaki lang yung isa pinag-parking niya. Oo. Oh. Diba? So, madali yung makapunta, pabalik. Hmm. Diba? Madali yung access na makabalik siya agad sa kanya. Yeah. Diba? That's why you need to... Hindi malapit lang talaga kasi yan sa entrance ng CR. Bakit? Nagtagal din siya ng maghanap ng parking space na malapit sa CR. Na dahil maaaring naghahanap siya ng parking space na malapit sa CR. Diba or, hindi talaga siya nakahanap. <laughs> sa kaikot-ikot niya, naihi na lang siya. So, iya park lang muna ako dito saglit, malapit sa CR, ihi muna ako. Parang ganun. Siguro hindi naman siguro lalabas pa to, but in case na may lalabas, iwan ko na lang muna tong number ko so that they can call me anytime at I'll run right away. Oh, di ba? I'll run right away para makabalik. Everybody was really angry. 
in that family, di ba? And we don't know what triggered their anger. So, isa yun sa part kasi ng anger management. If they are aware, ah, that they have anger management issues. If they are to ask me, like, if, um, if it's about anger management, how one should manage kung nandun sila sa sitwasyon na yun, no? So, ano ba yung how do we identify and how do we control? How do we manage ang our anger, no? Importante talaga yung triggers, eh, no? Um, recognize yung early warning size. Yung mga physical, emotional, kasi pa, mga physical, medyo irritated ka na eh. Mabilis yung heartbeat mo. Tapos may, may muscle tension ka na, hindi ka na mapakali. Yun yan, parang escalating na yung anger pa. Kasi um, physically, everything is going fast. So you have to calm down. Kaya nga may mga deep breathing exercise na ganun para can help you. You have to convince oh, you have to convince your body and your heart and your brain na to slow down. Kailangan alam mo yung mga triggers when your emotions will rise into anger. Kasi eh, very important na you can identify ano yung nakakatik off sa yo na makakapagpagalit sa yo because when you know these things before it rises to anger na interventionan mo na there are some exercises that you can do apart from breathing exercises there's also anchoring alala mo yung sa uh, three idiots para sinasabi niya all is well all is well it may not be about anger issues but it was his anchor to control his emotions and um, there are also um, like calm breathing anchor yung parang you take a few breaths then you clear your mind then you press your thumb and forefinger together yung nakikita natin sa mga nag yoga where they press their thumb and forefinger together as if parang um, nagsasign ng okay. So, ginawin yung ginagawa uh, to place them in a relaxed state. No? Sa ano, sa healing of minds, may isang agent din na is practicing meditation para makontrol lang yung, ano, yung anger. May mantra siyang minimation. So, yung iba naman, um, they have this, they use the visualization anchor in which um, they imagine a memory or an image that helps them feel relaxed and at ease. So, yung iba, um, they save a uh, picture ng mga anak nila, ng mga po nila on their phones. Now, when they look at it, somehow it diverts their attention and it helps them calm down. So, ganon. Yun yung sa visualization naman. And, uh, you can also, yung sabi mo kanina about mantra, may sets of words ka na sinasabi or phrases to uh, help you calm down. And you can also have some actions like, um, yun, all is well, that's just a mantra na sinasabi niya. Yung touch base anchor naman, yung paglagay niya ng kamay niya sa chest niya, near sa heart niya, it's uh, something na paggawin niya yun, together with the mantra parang automatic na yon na uh, it helps him calm down we have also what we call the auditory anchor so yun naglilisten ng music may mga ocean waves mm-hmm. ganyan ang anchor um, it takes practice you do it kasi palagi kasi ipa-practice mo kasi yung utak mo na automatically ma-identify niya na pag uh, ito yung ginagawa mo meaning I have to calm down the rest of the body parang ganun kasi siya eh. so it's a form of conditioning it's all about conditioning your mind that if you do these sets of things automatic siya na your whole body will follow and cooperate to calm down and it's not overnight practice kasi yan eh. even if walang trigger of anger so... you still practice it kumbaga you find time every day na you practice calmness you practice slow breathing 
And para in time, nakailangan mo na siya. Nambawa, may trigger of anger na, alam mo na yung gagawin. Yeah. Mm. Huwag mong hintayin na, ah, kailangan, magalit na naman ako ulit para ko ma-practice. So, no. Mm. You practice it every day if you must. Or kahit three times a day nga eh. If you must eh. Kasi, ano siya eh, uh, it's really helpful. Because it's, it's, uh, it's, ano, form of, ano, anchoring. And there's, uh, there's a lot but um, I'll just mention a few mm. techniques. No, um, there's also um, submodalities. The use of submodalities. Um, it it refines the details of mga mental, ano tin ba mental image or sounds, no or feelings. Sounds like pag maingay sa kabila, maingay sa neighbors, nagagalit ka na agad. It irritates you, or may Yan, yung feeling. Feeling of parang naisahan ka or ganyan, it triggers you. So, ano yung mga submodalities na pwede mo gawin? So, visual submodalities, uh, ito yung, you imagine a situation that makes you angry. And then, if you see it in color and up close, you change the image to black and white. Naka mo yun, parang, um, you re-imagine it ba na, uh, it happened in front of you. Everything is in color, but you try to imagine it. It's just black and white. So it, it medyo it settles the situation. And again, it's not easy. It reduces kasi the intensity of the emotion. Eh. And sound, sa modality. Yun. Yung sound sa modality, if my trigger of anger, like na, na, nagagalit na yung halimbawa nagagalit yung lalaki tapos naririnig yung babae tapos gagamitin niya yung sound sa modality nung narinig pa lang niya na nagagalit na it triggers her also na magalit so what she would do if ganun na naririnig na she will try to imagine that yung bosses actually is not a uh, he's not raising his tone hindi siya nag, but it's rather softer and more soothing so mag imagine siya ng situation na ganun so imagine his partner talking in a softer and you know, voice and um, there's also um, kinesthetic sa modality meaning uh, pag halimbawa medyo tension na yung body no and if we're angry kasi umiinit yung katawan natin eh and our muscles are tense so gagawin niya i-cool down yung body niya kay yung iba may mga cold towel okay ng ice to make the situation less intense inom ng malamig na tubig so that's kinesthetic or bodily submodalities so this submodalities um you can do this, but mas madali yung anchoring than this one. Kasi ito, um, it's more of uh, reimagining or changing the situation ni eh, to a state na gusto mo. Na a calmer one. Mm-hmm. But mahirap siya gawin, especially if you're starting pa. Kailang it takes a lot of practice eh. But then, um, both of this one are good techniques so that you can somehow, you know, rewire your brain na to lessen the anger triggers. Yun. And uh, anger kasi is rooted from an experience. And uh, sometimes it, it comes from uh, childhood trauma. No? Uh nabanggit natin in, in, in some of our videos and in some of our discussions na yung corporal punishment can lead to childhood trauma. So, kasi ang nafe-feel nila, lalo na pag sinigawan yung bata and uh, may mga words na nasabi na nakakasakit sa feelings ng bata. Hindi man nila yon ma-reciprocate or hindi man nila naiintindihan at that time. Pero kasi nasisink na yon sa subconscious. And as they grow, um, 
lalo na pag maliit pa talaga, they can't determine if it's right or wrong eh. So, as they grow up, na-absorb nila yon na it's okay. Even if na-correct yun, halimbawa, nasabihan sila na these actions are bad and this, uh, this should be done instead. But it's embedded into their subconscious already. It's rather difficult to erase it. So, ang mangyayari, when they're growing up, there is this anger inside na hindi nila may paliwanag. So, it just comes out. And it, it mostly, it comes out as difficulty in managing anger. So, may mga outbursts. They're just irritable. They're just, you know, irritated at something that hindi nila alam bakit. You know, ganyan. Because they have this, ano na eh, trauma, no? So, to help them get out of that, kailangan kasi, yan, counseling, and then we have the, ano eh, timeline therapy. So, this timeline therapy is like stepping into your past and addressing the unresolved issues yan eh. So, we have techniques that we do to help you find that time in your life and you resolve it and somehow disconnect the emotion from the experience. Kasi time heals all wounds, di ba? So, masakit na masakit if it's recent and as, you know, time goes by, medyo hindi na siya masakit. So, we detach. So, slowly na detach yung emotions from the experience. But, for some, lalo na pag it's traumatic, you may not be able to identify na that causes the feeling na nafe-feel mo ngayon. But, parang, na-condition na kasi siya eh, as to make it simpler. Yung example natin na parang, meron, um, nagtatap para yung pusa uh, lalapit sa'yo para uh, na-associate niya na kinakain. So, it's somehow like that. Nakokondisyon kasi sila na pagsigaw, anger yan. This is, this is how you should react if you're, if you, if something has done wrong para sa'yo. This is how you should react. How do you respond? So, yun ang nakakondisyon na yung utak nila sa ganun. So, that's why it's it's a Maori food. Same with anxiousness and restlessness and and anxiety. Same lang din siya. It's somehow to do with the feelings and the experiences in the past that were unresolved. No? And yan, kailangan mag-undergo ng ano yan eh, therapy. Kasi, um, it's best if you have someone to guide you through. So, kaya dinadaan sa counseling. And yung timeline therapy kasi, um, di naman actually tinatanong namin ano yung specific na nangyari. We don't, you don't need to share it. But ikaw mismo, we'll just let you um, identify it. And then, you detach the, slowly, you guide namin kayo how you detach the emotion from that one and how you resolve that issue. So, somehow, it's a self-help na gagawin mo lang on your own, but we guide you through. But in guiding you through, kailangan, it should be done by um, counselors talaga. Kasi hindi basta-basta lang yan. Because, nakaano na yun eh, kumbaga nakascrew na yan sa utak mo eh. And to unscrew it, it's not overnight. So, ano pa din yan? It's a process that you need to undergo. But, ano talaga eh, yung mga anger, you know, anger management is, um, can be handled naman and can be resolved naman siya talaga. Most lang talaga dyan is rooted from childhood pa, kaya medyo matagal siya and medyo it takes time it takes a lot of support and it's a process and just have to trust the process 
But I hope uh, makatulong, makatulong itong video na ito to... Ang tawag yun? Yeah. Uh, to shed light. To shed light. To shed light. To anger. Mm-hmm. Always uh, practice calmness. Mm-hmm. No? I always remember, sabi nga eh, when... When emotions are too high, huwag natin salubungin. Kasi if, if ginawa natin yan, maybe to a different, ano, different result na kagaya nangyari dyan sa, sa parking lot, no? And even dun sa nangyari pa, dun sa nakalakan na parking lot, mm-hmm. na, na incident that leads to the death of a certain pregnant woman, no? Or, or, or leads to the death of a pregnant pregnant woman, no? Mm-hmm. So, yun, I mean, sa road kasi it's really very difficult pag nasa, nasa kali ka, di ba? So, you always have to practice calmness, maging ang presence of mind, di ba? And, ang totoo kasi, iba kasi itong bansa natin, if we're going to compare sa ibang county. Dito kasi, ah, are you doing Sa US kasi, merong fast, faster, fastest, di ba? Yun yung, yung, yung three lanes, eh, di ba? Dito kasi, kung pababagal, pumupunta <laughs> sa fast lane. So, yung mga ganong, mga ganong incident, I mean, it, it, it leads to road rage, eh. Uh-huh. So, alalahanin natin lagi, yung lisensya binigay sa atin, uh-huh. hindi po natin karapatan yan, hindi privilege, privilege po yan. So, uh-huh. gamitin natin yung privilege natin sa tama. Always stay calm. Lagi tayo nasa defensive uh, side pag tayo mm. nasa train. And uh, may to control our emotions. Pag, again, pag uh, may kumat sa'yo, yes, kasi wala rin naman mangyari. Di ba? Atin mo rin siya. Magkakatang kayong dalawa. Ano nag-resolve na? Di ba? Mm. Nak-resolve. Babay ng problema. sa traffic at hindi. <laughs> Nakapag-create lang kayo ng additional problem sa sarili nyo. Hmm. Di ba? As it all, ano daw, hayaan nyo na lang. Just like the composure side. Just hmm. try to, alam nyo, take a deep breath. And even yung mga incident, like yung nangyari sa parking, we have, no. If kaya naman natin i-control yung emotion natin, gawin natin, if nangyari yung ganun, nagkaroon na obstruction dun sa ating mm. uh, parkingan, always look for authority. Proper authority. Alam mo, security guard, to fix it up. Diba? Mm. Para maiwasan natin yung ano man yung po pwede mag- makapag-create ng worst scenario. So, yun, um, Uh, with all those happening around us, no, and especially we're in the Philippines, no, we all know that um, we don't have the best execution of our laws and implementation of our laws, and we don't have the best and uh, way of disciplining ourselves. Marami talaga ng kulang sa disciplina, and um, it triggers us in a lot of ways. But choose to be the bigger person. choose to mm-hmm. focus on your goal for the day mm-hmm. and instead of masway ka mm-hmm. na magalit mm-hmm. ka and give in to your mm-hmm. emotion huwag na lang sayang oras sayang mm-hmm. sa laway, sayang sa emotion sayang sa pag-iisip because more often than not when the emotions are high the intolerance is low So, yun, hindi na tayo makakapag-isip kasi nga galit na galit na tayo. Uh, when emotions are high, intelligence is low. Mm. Which is true naman talaga. Kasi hindi na makakapag-isip. Oh. Hindi ka na makakapag-isip uh, kasi galit na galit ka na eh. So, yan. Um, so, yeah. yun, talaga uh, nakapag-share kami and this video become uh, more beneficial sa mga aming mga uh, viewers, <laughs> sa aming mga kapagawas. And... Uh, Before we end up, we'd like to thank our kasamsaweros, our karmados, our kabugueras, our classmates. We teach you, Mark. Uh, mm. Thank you, Pedro Mike. And yeah, uh, always um, take care, always pray, and uh, put your trust in God. May God bless you and your whole family. Have a nice day and God bless.
Yeah, thank you to all our good mornings for watching Mornings with Vince and Ira. And always put God first in everything that you do. Okay. So, all right. Bye.